that part out. Where does it start? Shit, this, that means this trailer is shorter than I thought initially. Okay, first mm -hmm. off, uh, yeah, fuck them pants. But, you know, we're not here for the outfit. I'm sorry, I just, I fucking hate parachute long pants, and then they get skinny at the ankle. Okay, so... Yeah, what we that's do know, what they're going for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we do, what we do know so far is that one of the weapons, and I stress the term one, is the almighty yet rarely touched upon gun blade slash pun intended gun slash for those of you who think i apparently don't know what the fuck it's called i'm calling it what it looks like not what the the weapon's name is it's, you can do that it's called hypernomy anyways see one of the things i noticed about the dash is that it doesn't seem to function like a traditional shift action i'm gonna go back to it real quick okay so first thing you notice right there is that this wasn't a weapon action by itself. He had to, um, I feel like this is a photon art. See, it looks like a dash, like it might've been a dash and a weapon action, but I think this is a photon art. I think there's a photon art that allows you to make homing missiles. Now I know that's a bit rare, but let's think for a second. The only other weapon that has anything close to that is the fucking um, bullet bow. I think that People think, well, I know, people think that's the weapon action, and, you know, if they're right, they're right. No harm done. If I'm right, I'm right. No harm done. But I truly believe that that might not be what that is, because the first thing you notice is that, remember, the weapon actions, we always know, they change based on the weapon. But the way that thing was set up, if you fucking looked at it, it came out during a photon arc. The dash wasn't the actual class is dash because in the later in the video we're going to see the class's actual dash animation so you're talking about yeah the photon art Char where you know you mm -hmm. shoot it and then it disappears but if you hit the enemy uh again what's going to happen is it shoots them from behind or just from an offside angle that one i think that this is just a photon art so let's go back real quick and watch him as he does it because we're going to see later on the dash animation for this class is not the same. It's like a teleport and your character smears at the end of the movie, whereas this is just, he just transitioned to it naturally. So let's just watch real quick. Okay. Well, I'll take that back. It's gonna be chase arrow. It's chase arrow, not bang. Okay, see that? Cut, cut. Okay. I'm yeah, right. I see. Mm -hmm. He does one normal slash and then boom. Mm -hmm. That was the whole move. So this is not a fucking um, weapon action. Now, that may be a weapon action, or it may just be a super move for it. I know that's like it's probably his ultimate move or something. Yeah, specifically, you sh um, all uh, successor classes have their actual special skill. Take note with Phantoms, Phantom Time, Heroes, Hero Time, yeah, and a, a 12 step. See, I'm, I'm of the mindset that this dual wield everyone thinks because it was a oh well hey if he's dual wield then maybe the second weapon is the tackle well, no the 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 the, the gun blades all that type of weapon does is switch between close range and long range but if this thing is close range and long range already based on which photon art you use who's to say that the weapon action isn't I'm gonna separate a non-existent gun part uh, from the blade. You know? Yeah, because what I was thinking, if you go back to the beginning when he was shooting his uh, gun slash. Right here. Just give it a moment. No problem. See, there's a second grip handle right there built into that camo, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this weapon camo, basically. Yeah, See? this part, I was thinking it was a weapon action. Yeah, but if you notice, he starts off with it already like that. So, wait, let me go back mm. to it real quick. Because technically, he doesn't change from that weapon through the whole video. Okay, so this is the weapon when the blade's turned on. Mm -hmm. Now, see, that's the same weapon. Yeah, it's the same weapon. Because assault rifle is already taken. Twin machine gun is twin machine gun. And that damn show ain't no fucking launcher. I'm curious what an advanced slash successor class would look like with a damn or scions uh would look like 
using a launcher because I don't think there's anything you can do with a launcher that hasn't already been done. The damn thing's a beam cannon, a missile launcher, a fucking flamethrower, mm. and also mm. a, a chair. So I don't think there's anything left. This weapon is the same weapon. Now, if he exactly. had the same camo on, which don't get me wrong, that's how they do it for all of these videos with the uh, upper classes, the three upper classes, the big boys, it yeah. would still be a different shape. This is the exact same shape as from before. Mm -hmm. Also, his palm is open, so he's not holding some secondary piece. So the way I see it, this is either the normal attack for the gun version of, uh, uh, of the weapon or photon art. This class has something that it can do um, as another type of action, whether it's a photon art or a weapon action that allows people to separate some part of the weapon. Because if you look at it, the sword blade is still turned on in the bottom right. Now, I know people are saying mm -hmm. this is a different weapon, but I don't think that. And I'm gonna tell you what I think. I think they just gave you the ability to change the color of the weapon. It's very rare and it's annoying, but in PSO2, there's like maybe 30 weapons where you can change the color of the energy blade on it directly. And it's rare, even rare for a camo, Al. It's even rare for a camo to be like that. Well, I was thinking it's taking it. Well, I believe it has forms to it. For this, it only it only uses for what those drones are. Like a long range. The drone. other version, yeah, for this one is just the same. Because once you get to the end, those three lo uh, looking blades did attack Dave. But once you do some attacks, those three uh, shows up and attacks. What if there's a weapon action for each mode the gun blade is in? Like sword mode, weapon action, gun mode, weapon action. Also, I caught this real quick. See, everyone thinks that this weapon right here is mm -hmm. whatever the secondary weapon is, but well, some people do, some people don't. I think the way it's set up is they wanted to show you at an angle, but if I go in super slow motion, well, first off, mm -hmm. you can see just from right here. Let me see if I can do this on the screen. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Okay. If you notice, he's still using that same one gun blade. There's its front little snout thing, whatever, right there. Yeah. But if we super slow this down, you'll see he didn't get the blue ring or the red ring, and he immediately manifests this one, the, the one on the right with the li blue line on it. I think that this is the weapon action, but he went directly from weapon action into a photon art, because as you can see, no blue ring or red ring, because every class at this point has built in, make your first attack or just attack turned on, but there's the ring around it right there. What else does ring sometimes? Weapon actions. He started with the weapon action and then did the photon arm move. Also, there was something else I noticed mid-move. Yeah, do See this that? one more time. Yeah, yeah, you stop. It's, I see another ring. See, this means there's an additional two attack. photon arts right here. Mm-hmm. And even though Phantom is the, the, the master of having double photon arts, uh, before Phantom yeah, existed, mm -hmm. yeah, before Phantom existed, the only person who did anything like that was Gunblade, and it only did it for literally one photon art. Oh, don't forget about uh, Bouncer. Bouncer does the same thing. Now, I think that this is either not a photon art or the shift action makes a move, like, you know, when you switch weapons with Hero, and then after mm -hmm. that, he just pressed a normal attack button or a photon art button. That feels like a photon art based on that long Z slash. And then there's the redness of it. See, and then, boom, here's those drones he made earlier. He's using one as a sword. Mm -hmm. I don't think the second weapon is tacked. And I, I think that because Gunblade is in a very unique situation, it's a, it's a striking and a ranged weapon. I think that the Gunblade has two formats with different play styles completely versus different normal attacks. And we still don't know what the second weapon is or technically the way that Sega wants to probably do it a third weapon. If we even get one, we're probably gonna get one. But at the same time, we already established and we know for a, a fact that the, what is it? The weapon types are very, very 
very off balance. But yeah, you know, because you got another one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I think that this. I think that the sword gun mode, the, the sword mode is weapon is action, is the dual wielding. version. Yeah, I think mm. that, that that's where the dual wielding comes from. And I think the other one is Yeah, the one with the funnels is yeah. for gun. Yeah, Your like gun when it makes the little like the uh, homing blades, but you're not touching them and they disappear. I think yeah. that's like some type of autonomous drone mode. But the mm -hmm. but the reason people think it's attacked is because or basically of, a funnel. Yeah. Yeah, like, like funnel funnels like the uh what you call it? New Gundam from the Gundam series. How how his back uh emits those funnels is just like that with the blue version of that form. Uh, I think you're trying to say drones, but yeah, I'm under the impression okay, that looks really cool. I'm under the impression that that secondary mode is wait a minute. Did you see that? Yeah, I see. No, 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 no. When he was sliding, mm -hmm. look back real quick. See, look at the blade, mm -hmm. look at his arm position. Now look, he turned the blade off when he started sliding. Mm -hmm. And then he turned it back on. I think, and his hand was glowing. Now see, this is the dash animation I was talking about. Wait for it. See? Mm -hmm. He has a counter dash or just a, a, a dodge in general that looks like that. So that means that the slide was probably a photon art, or it could have been him doing his dash into a weapon action. Because if you notice, he didn't actually shoot or strike anything. Now see, there's a dual blade right there. And it's the same move from earlier. But now it's gone again. Mm -hmm. See, 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 that was a weapon switch right there. And but now the blades are back. Mm hmm. And see what I mean? Teleport it, right. boom, go through. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I mean. It's hard to tell what, but I can confirm, or at least we can confirm from this footage, that it's not using the tact, at least not yet. No. Because all those weapons are in relation to the class. Think about it. Uh, when Phantom came out, no one knew that bits were there until they showed them off. I think they just made a different type of drone, a.k.a. bit. Be And people think it's the tack. Because first off, when have you ever seen a tack that that is that fucking huge? We literally, we, we literally just went through the list. <laughs> All of these tacks are less than two feet long. And these are the rarest ones in the game. Yeah, like none of these tacks are longer than two feet long. And he's pulling out blades, even the camos to my knowledge, and he's pulling out blades that are legit fucking over uh, six feet long. It does, it's not meant for that new class. So I know that's why I say I give him benefit of doubt because they're obviously not doing it on purpose. No, because that's what the purpose is. The teaser, um, it's a teaser. No, no, you can say it. For what? To be a for what I believe, yeah, for what? Yeah, basically. And we just have to announce, um, uh, analyze this really, or announce it. For what I understand, for what I've gathered and experience on how the successor class work i believe that this class will hold only four photon arm but each one side for close range and one, one side for the close range and one for a long range yeah see i'm inclined to think that too but see here's my thing what i want to know is are they going to be like phantom or are they going to be like hero where you have to switch the weapon, whether it's by style. Whoops, forgot to put my phone on silent and or vibrate again. <laughs> no, that's fine, I think. I think that one of the biggest hiccups or probably the only thing that ever annoyed me with Hero, besides the fact that for three months straight, everyone was a hero, not even joking. The only thing, actually, fuck that, five months, is that when you switch weapons, there's no need for that back flippy bullshit eating up my FPS in the middle of a raid or something. All they have to do is made it so like maybe the weapon itself spins and I do whatever the move coming out of it is. I'm like, why didn't they just make it so I could press one button and the weapon transforms or teleports out of my hand and turns into the other one? 
just made it a faster ability to do it if that's what they were going for. And it looks like to me this new class it actually is the perfected version. That aside, uh, anything else you want to add before we uh, watch this video one last time? What do I think about? I am curious what you think its weapon loadout will be, like the rest of his weapons. But to be fair, everyone loves doing that shit. <laughs> well, you got your usual light stream gun slash for PP battery or PP reset. Or basically you're going to have your still series weapon of a gun slash or your liberate. So you think now, exclusively is in this zone. point, somebody might, somebody may or may not have the, uh, how I put this, the uh, photon power reduction on one, on one of their weapons. Because majority of all those moves we see will be a whole bunch of consumption going on. Well, so I would just prefer at least three weapons. <laughs> oh, I'm going straight for the Liberate. One of the first weapons I made because I kept telling people you ain't got to waste your time getting X class cubes and shit. Just go make a novel Liberate. I mean, not a novel Liberate. A novel gun, gun bladey slasher because it takes everyone's class cubes. And I had a friend of mine trying to figure out how I made a Liberate in like two game hours. No, not two game, two game days. So basically 10 hours of play. I'm like, bro. First off, everybody had most of the raw materials for this stuff just laying around in their in their in their in their bank in materials. So really, all you need was class cubes. I'm like, go fight Masquerade in the solo fight, and it doesn't matter what class you use, cause you're going to make a gunblady slashy just for that. Because let's not forget, the one thing you can do, unlike any other weapon in the game, when it's made by Zeke and it's a 15 star, you can change what it is. For me personally, I think that the second weapon is not going to be attacked. I think it's going to be the bow. And I say that because if they're saving tact for a rainy day or the rest of the magic moves are off limits, because if you stop and think, this class is probably not going to be using techniques. Not because, well, ET didn't do it, so the next one won't. No, I think they're doing half and half. I think they want, since, okay, Phantom and Hero use techniques. Here's ET being a defense monster. This new class to be an offense monster, but it can't use techniques. You know? What if they do mm -hmm. it like that? God help everybody who has to make a new mag. Let me tell you, I feel your pain. I know your gripes. Anyways, I say bullet bow. Because launcher would be too unrealistic. Based on what this class is and is trying to be. What is this? Well, I'm just going to let this play in the background. But based on what uh, this new class is trying to be and how it maneuvers. It's trying to teleport. It's got dodges. It's got slides. It's got homing dro uh, uh, drones or homing bullets. Well, what can launch bullets? Not, not the launcher. It's a launcher, not a gun, not a rifle. Not a shotgun, machine gun. It is a launcher. What do launchers that are projectile based launch? Missiles, rockets, grenades, fireballs, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Anyways, so <laughs> I think it's going to be bullet bow. So if they're now doing these uh, psionic classes, pun intended, I think that they're at a point where they knew that the numbers needed to be uh, evened out. And this thing counts as two weapons. So now that means we have eight close range weapons left and they had five uh, range weapons they can pull from. And if this guy's not using any techniques, because technically we haven't seen him use any techniques that time, no pun intended. It's not, a, it's a safe assumption that we're probably not because usually when they show these classes off, they make it known if they're going to use any form of techniques. When we saw the ET trailer, no techniques. Mm -hmm. When we saw Phantom, we saw they eventually revealed that that weapon it was using, the scythe, is just raw. So it's we, actually a rod. Yeah, so we it's... knew we was going to get techniques. Hero, we saw the weapon load out, and we knew we was going to get techniques. We saw that talisman. We saw the machine guns. So I think this baby is going to be reverse uh, ET. 
Oh, lower your HP or cut your defense. Well, guess what? You can b boost up your steroid gains. You know, something like that. So that's just how I feel. Don't get me wrong. I would, I'm going to be sad if Bullet Bow, hell, Bullet Bow, Knuckles, Dagger, and what else was it? Bullet Bow, Knuckles, Dagger, and Lance. I'm going to feel bad if none of these end up being on the weapon palette. And it is just Gunblade by itself. But also, I'm intrigued by the idea of that level of customization and variation on one weapon. So, Lance is considered not even a bad one, but one of the more boring weapons in the game. Oh, that's what it was, Wired Lance. So basically, I want to see how they get creative with every all the leftover striking weapons. Yes, you can tell where my preferences lie. So, yeah. Uh, what other weapons do you want to see on this class? So far, everything has been filled in. Except Seriously, for Seriously, you wanted a class that was nothing but Gunblade? I feel like Gunblade was the misfit of all weapons. Now, people will say, oh, I, I just use it for the lows. But I feel like it has its uses. Like, it's been neglected for so long. Um, I don't know if you know the saying back then, they didn't know me, now I'm hot, they all. <laughs> but personally, it's, it's gun slash, it's time to shine. Every dog has its day. I, I can get behind that. And if there ever was an underdog weapon besides tack in this game, it's it's uh, good old gun blady slashy. So I understand what you mean. However, look, last I checked, Sega said they don't really plan on this game running longer than 10 years or maybe 12 years. And we're more than halfway through that. So if you're going to keep making advanced classes, if you legitimately don't keep making advanced classes, Man, somebody shouldn't be exclusive because that means that when everything's said and done, all the classes and all the weapons get utilized that can be utilized and mixed together from all the categories. Nobody's left out. That means Gunblade is going to be a solo act. And people are going to say, well, why didn't they make a solo sword class, a solo dagger, a solo launcher? I don't want to dream about a solo launcher class. And sorry for the launcher lovers out there. Me mad. Launch you do big damage. Dummy thick Hulk damage. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. But they just need to make that, that weapon interesting. So whoever ends up getting Launcher, my heart goes out to you. Because you better be the most interesting version of a Launcher there can be. I mean, we've already read the thing. We've used the damn sword as a surfboard. There's so many options when it's sci-fi. But yeah, um, that being said... uh. You can always find us on server two. You know, I'm James Tono. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm your friendly neighborhood, Zach, and this is James Tono, and we will catch you guys when we catch you guys. See you.